you guys doing? Tony Furtado here. Um, All right. Let me turn the sound up on my computer so you don't have to hear twice. <laughs> um, I had the night free. In fact, I'm the only one at the house right now. So, figured what better time than to uh, play some tunes. I gotta keep my fingers warm too. Um, or unrusty at least. Let me make sure I'm online. You guys can please chime in and let me know that the sound is working. Hello, hello, clap. <laughs> and that uh, you can see me all right. I guess I'll scooch over that way. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm just hanging out, playing some tunes. Let me see what you guys have to say here. Oh, there's someone even on Twitch. I know you, huh? Morgan Grace. How do I know Morgan Grace? Well, good to see you, Morgan. I know that name. Um, Carolyn, are you live yet? We don't see you on YouTube. Well, you might see me now. Let me know if you could see me. Um, hey, Tony Crindler, how you doing, buddy? Greetings from Canada. What are you doing up there? Vacationing? Um, Matt, are you doing any live shows nowadays? Yes, not as many as I'd hoped. It's kind of tricky getting out there right now. Still, so many people trying to get their gigs happening. So uh, there's this many gigs and <laughs> this many people trying to get them. So there you go. I am heading up to Canada this weekend. Looking forward to that, playing the Edmonton Folk Festival. Very psyched about that. Um, Ashlyn, hey, how you doing? Sounds working, video working, hey, all right. You got any requests, let me know. Crindler, you are fishing, really? What kind of fishing, fly fishing or uh, bait fishing? What you doing? Where you at? Um, Carolyn, see you now. Okay, good. I'm gonna grab the guitar. Um, Quebec, Tony. Love Quebec. I really love Quebec City. I played a festival there once, too long ago, and it was just absolutely stunning. But praying for the day to get back there again. And I'm working. I'm gonna be working on your uh, your pig sculpture really soon too. I'm looking forward to that. Wanted to do one of those again. And share the link. Tell folks I'm live. I'll be here for a little while, hanging out, playing some tunes. So.
locked on and spinning, got no way to stop me. My vision is x ray, my body is electric. I'm hooked up and spinning, got no way to stop me.
Mom, hey, that you like that one, huh? That's good to know. Um, well, hey folks, if you're just joining me, it's, uh, what is today? Today's a Wednesday, a Wednesday evening. It's good to be here in the living room. I'm all by my lonesome tonight, so I figured, what the heck? Let's do a show. I got a cello banjo over there calling my name. Tony! I'm uh, wearing my octopus riding a bicycle shirt. Ready coffee, good folks, cross town here in Portland. <laughs> hey Matt, you like the fireplace, huh? <laughs> it's a good one, I like it too. What's up, dead Ed, you know it. This is so funny, I'm unpacking from my move last month and found two live recordings I've made of your shows at Cicero's. And the hand cut written contract you had me and you signed. That's funny. <laughs> that is funny. Sharon Schneiderman, hey. Hey, mother-in-law. Got family online here. My two moms. <laughs> Any requests out there, let me know. Hit me up. Otherwise, I'll just dive into something here. Any chance for virtual guitar lessons? Well, maybe. Maybe sometime soon here, since the gigs aren't rolling in this year. Might be a good time to do some, uh, some lessons. I'll let you know. Or just hit me with a personal message. Oh, sure, I could do Peggyo at some point. How far back in the catalog? I don't know. Give it a shot. Hit me with your best shot. I'll see if I can do it. I might fumble through something. Here's, uh, here's a new one from my newest album, December. This one's called... What is this called? Uh, this is called Green... Uh, Greenheart. Thank you. 
those moments where um, I'm playing along and I look at my fingers and I think, how do I know that I, how do I know how to do this? And then all of a sudden I don't know how to do it. <laughs> it just kind of goes, woo! <laughs> Uh, Diane, great to see you at the Arinda Broom Shakespeare Theater. You played so many sets and in fine company. Hopefully they will have another siesta strings and things. Yes, I agree. That was fun. It was such a beautiful setting, too. Um, Tony, wow. Jenny's wedding and rakish patty. I could do rakish patty. Not so sure about Jenny's wedding. It's been too long for that one. Mikey, hung out with you in L.A. when you were recording at Mad Dog. Yeah. We're on your... Oh, yeah, that was years ago. <laughs> well, good to see you again, Mikey. Um, I'll have a sip here. <clears throat> okay, the problem with grabbing this banjo right now, it is not tuned. It's in airplane tuning. For um, any non-guitarist out there, what we tend to do is slacken the string so there's not so much tension right here uh, when the plane gets put, uh, when the banjo or guitar gets put in the baggage claim. Because if you have less pressure here and they bump it around, there's going to be less chance of, uh, of a snap happening right here, which I've had happen a couple of times. <clears throat> Let me get a note from the piano. I'll be right back. summer going? Going pretty good? It's getting pretty toasty here in Portland right now. Common over uh, you just want an Irish set, Tony. That's all you want, right? I'll see what I can do for you. It might be a little rough. I'm not totally in practice on those. Hey, Tony, do you remember that that venue in uh, in DC called? Um, it ended up being called Nanny O'Brien's. I used to love going there and playing Irish tunes with, with some friends. It's always a blast. It's a good place. I went there uh, a few years ago. It's a little bit different. Wait. Mrs. J's? They had Irish music?
Oh yeah. I could tell it was slack. So that was Rakish Patty. Let's see if I... that I wrote and then I'll go into another Irish tune if I can uh, remember it. So.
Hey, I'm gonna do a song for mom. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Cicero's. Hugh, Cicero's. Miss those days, dead Ed. Yes. Those are some fun gigs. I remember playing them very well. There was another joint up the street, too. Like Blueberry Hill or something. What was that called? Played there once, too. Like a blues club or something. Hey, Mom, if you're out there, what do you want to hear? Where's my capo? I have a capo. Mm -hmm. yep. Did I not pull it out? Hold on one second here. Oh, there it is. Found it. Hey, Bo. Okay. Blueberry Hill. Yes, that's it. Chuck Berry used to play there all the time. Yes, <laughs> that was it. I played a show there randomly. Um, I'll do this one and send it out to Mom. Hoping to record this one fairly soon here. Mark, Kalamazoo loves me? Really? I don't believe you. Well, then I better get over there. I know I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to uh, Michigan in late October, waiting for the dates to finalize. I don't think I'm doing Kalamazoo, but uh, playing near enough. I think Grand Rapids is on the, on the docket. Pretty sure. <laughs> Maybe Ann Arbor, too. All right, I wrote this one for Mom. As if Mom, like, thinking of Mom as being uh, her own songwriter, writing a song about missing my dad. So this is called, I Haven't Lost You. I 
and close to my love. I feel you all around. Ooh, 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 ooh. Close to you, my love, I feel you all around. I haven't lost to you, my love, I feel you all around. I haven't lost to you, my love, I feel you all around. I haven't lost to you, my love, I feel <laughs> Lost my pick on that one. It just went flying off my finger. Oh, there it is. Hold on. Hey, I've got some new comments here. Let's see. The original Cicero. Oh, the original Cicero was now the Duck Room. I didn't know it changed. Um, that's in St. Louis, in case anyone's curious. What we're talking about here, nice, my favorite was an almost empty room with the wonderful Sam Bush. Whoa, I bet that wasn't Sam Bush's favorite. Um, in Arinda, great show. Yes, the Arinda show was a lot of fun. Um, Jerry, so great to see you in Arinda Sunday. Your solo sets were amazing and it was fantastic to see you sit in with Sam Bush. Yeah, it was so good to sit in with Sam. He's one of the nicest guys uh, out there of the uh, generation. Oh, above me, past me, if you can imagine this one past me. Um, or uh, He's, uh, you know, one of my heroes. Growing up, seeing the Newgrass Revival, and then um, over the years, I bump into him. He's always such a, a nice, personable guy, and there's a number of those guys that are. And there's a number of those guys that aren't, so <laughs> he's one of the guys that are. And very welcoming, so it was really nice to uh, pick some tunes with him. Or a tune. It was a tune, the encore. So, um, thanks, Tony. How about uh, something a little more on the bluesy side? Um, I'll keep saying it. Any requests, hit me up. You ever, uh, here's the funny thing. You ever hear this sound? It's nice when it's like really grindy. Well, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a seam on these bottlenecks. And if you catch the seam just right, you can really make it just kind of growl for a while. Sometimes you don't want that, <laughs> so I'm going to turn it. Sometimes it's nice just to do that. Yeah, I'll go with that right now. So, so I'm going to do one right now and send it out to the memory of, uh, of an old buddy of mine who passed away kind of recently, way too young, way too soon. Uh, he was a brilliant man, a genius. He was enigmatic to many. Um, a guy named Kelly Joe Phelps. He was a wonderful songwriter, an incredible guitar player, incredible whatever he did, really. Um, definitely influential uh, to me, musically and otherwise. So, um, cheers to your spirit, your soul, wherever it may be. And I'm gonna send this out to him because he sang this on one of my albums years ago. This is an old 
It's an old time song. And when I say old time, I mean old time mountain music, Appalachian folk music. Uh, I'm guessing from North Carolina because it's about a couple of North Carolina towns called Raleigh and Spencer. Probably set in Prohibition time. I'd lay down and die. I 
you can stomp down the flowers that grow round my grave, but they'll rise and bloom again. Or they'll rise and bloom again. Well, I'd eat Spencer or burning down, or they ain't no liquor. Raleigh and Spencer. I see some more comments here. I love a story of one of my favorite slide guitar. You know, um, <laughs> a story is actually a cello banjo song, believe it or not. Uh, I got a couple of folks asking for um, Peggio. I'll definitely do that. And my mom even asked for it. I got to do Peggio now. All right, happy to. Um, how can I clap? Robert, I don't know what to tell you. You're doing it by putting the comment up there. Uh, oh, you know what? Here, let me put this up there. Not to be imposing here with this silly thing, but, um, and I'm gonna be up here for a little while longer because I'm digging it, I'm having fun. Uh, but I will put this little tip jar right there. So, I'll just drop that right there. So let me do Peggio and then I'll get to some banjo stuff. How's that? Um, I worked up Peggio a number of years ago for, in fact, it was 10 years ago that I worked up this song because um, me and my buddy Scott Law were asked to do the uh, Northwest String Summit here in town and do a, a Jerry Garcia memorial set. And um, being that I wasn't that familiar with the music of the dead, Scott pointed me in a direction of songs that he thought would, would be fitting for me to do. And Peggio was one of those. Come to find out later that uh, Peggio was actually an old Scottish ballad. And I think that's why it felt so comfy doing it. So I ended up learning it and working up my own way of doing it. I do it lots, cause it's so pretty. Broken Bell, hey Hugh, a broken bell is one of my favorites as well. Don't waste your hammer on a broken bell. Where's it led by exactly? I'll do that, maybe I'll do that next. Peggy, oh, will you marry me, pretty Peggy? 
like you Will you marry me, pretty Peggy O? If you'd marry me, I'll set your city free And free all the people in the area Will I marry you, sweet William O? What would your mama think, pretty Peggy O? What would your mama think, pretty Peggy O? What would your mama think, she heard my guineas clean? Saw me marching at the head of my soldiers, oh. If ever I return, pretty Peggy O. If ever I return, Pretty Peggy O, if ever I return your city, I will burn and destroy all the people in the area. Stepping down the stairs, pretty Peggy O. Come stepping down the stairs, let down your yellow hair, and bid your last farewell to William O. Sweet William is dead, pretty Peggy O. Sweet William is dead, pretty Peggy O. Sweet William is dead. doing that one. The melody is just so nice, you know. Hey Scott, so beautiful and so perfect for the days between. Hey, thanks man. Thanks for um thanks and off to the tip. Oh that's nice of you. Just sent you some appreciation. Oh that's nice of you too. Alright folks.
So, yeah, the low tuning on the uh, the guitar, I always have it in an open D tuning. Um, and this cello banjo is in an open C tuning, so I always love low tunings. I've got a high voice, I like the low tuning. <laughs> text message from my buddy Rob Ikes. He just landed in Edmonton where I'm going to be this weekend. I'll text him later. I won't bother you guys with that name.
skin. A shiny skin, shimmering new, copper and tendering it through. Tolling laws cracked my shell, don't waste your honor on a broken bell. A broken bell, a broken bell, don't waste your hammer on a broken bell. Well, I'd let you in, see inside, you will never change my mind. You will never change my mind. I love playing that cello banjo. Um, I like this one too. So, if you guys got any uh, any requests, hit me up. I think I'm doing pretty good with the requests so far. I don't think I've turned one down yet. I'm looking back to make sure. Oh, except for Jenny's wedding. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> So like I mentioned, um, I'll be going to Edmonton this weekend with, uh, my band is going to be the great Matt, Matt Flinner on mandolin and the great Stephanie Schneiderman on vocals and percussion and guitar. So we'll have fun as a trio up there. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then we get back and just a couple gigs here and there. We, uh, we have a couple things in mid October that are going to be fun too. The 15th on Orcas Island. If you uh, find yourself anywhere near Orcas Island and the San Juans, come on out to the Orcas Center. Um, my trio is going to be Luke Price and John Reichman. And Stephanie's trio is going to be um, Keith Brush and uh, Jenny Connolly from the Decemberists. And I'm sure we'll mix it up quite a bit. We're also going to play in Tacoma at the uh, Spanish Ballroom the day before that, so watch out for that. Um, I'll just do a couple more songs here tonight. Uh, if you got any last minute requests, hit me up. Otherwise, I'm just gonna kinda jam it, jam it out a little bit on the banjo. Not sure what. slide would be fun. All right, Charlie, I, I can do that. I don't tend to do that solo, but let's see what kind of damage I can do to it. Mom, I see your request for the monkey song. It's not actually a monkey song. It's a Michael Nesmith song, but he was a monkey. Slide is a tune I wrote uh, sitting at the Montrose, Colorado airport after playing a, a gig in Telluride. And 
and I had a few hours to kill, so I picked up the banjo and I picked up the slide and, and wrote this tune. And I will preface it by saying that uh, it sounds so much better when there's bass <laughs> and drums underneath, but uh, here you go. underneath so you can hear the chord changes and stuff but it's fun to play otherwise um, <laughs> thanks for the request uh, mom the song you're thinking of is 
Um, you tell me just one more time the reason why you must leave. Uh, some of Shelley's blues. That's the one you're thinking of. Is that the one you want me to do? Tell me what's for why you're sure you don't need me. Uh, you know, it's funny. When I first got this album, um, I remember, Mom, I'll speak to you directly. We were living at the Corte Calera house. Corte Calera. And I had just bought an album by the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band called Uncle Charlie and His Dog Teddy or Uncle Teddy and His Dog Charlie. I can never remember what, what it is. But the very first song on it had this really beautiful, sparkly banjo by John McEwen. And the first notes in, it just captured me because it had that beautiful banjo. And it just sounded so familiar. I, I, it, I, I felt like I already knew the song. And I was, what, 13 or something when I bought that album? 12, 13? So yeah, I'll do it. Let's see if I remember it. As I always say, it's my always, it's always my little, uh, my disclaimer. So I'll do two more songs. I'll do this one and then one more song. And uh, call it quits. It's a Michael Nesmith song. This is called Summer Shelley's Blues. Tell me just one more time the reason why you must leave. Tell me once more why you're sure you don't need me. Tell me again, but don't think you'll convince me. You said about falling in love again, you'd rather be dead. Some Raise your heart, you cry your eyes red. There's nothing so hard about the life that you led. As far as I can see, there's no reason for goodbye. You're just running scared. There's something I won't buy. So you won't let you go, there's nothing to show but more blues As far as I can see <laughs> It's gone
There you go. I know it would take me a minute to remember <laughs> the words on that chorus. For some reason, it just went out the window there. Um, let's see. Hey, Charlie Greason. Is that how you say your name? Greason? Greason? We miss you in Lincoln, Nebraska, Tony. Come back soon. I would love to come back to Lincoln. God, it's been so many years. What was that place that used to be? There was the... Was it the Zoo Bar and um, Knickerbockers, maybe? Is that right? I can't remember. Um, I, I remember I did one show with, uh, with um, Derek Trucks there, even. Maybe at Knickerbockers. Uh, what? That song was on a Linda Ronstadt album? I guess so. I thought it was on Stone Pony, like it was a Stone Ponies album that, that she did that on. But maybe that was her first album. Zubar, yeah. It was the Zubar, that's right. Okay, I'll do one more song, all right, you guys? My se Hey, Mark. My seven-year-old daughter wandered in and is completely mesmerized. Well, hey, seven-year-old daughter of Mark, is there anything you want to hear? Knickerbockers isn't there anymore. Are you kidding me? That's too bad. Um, maybe it's not too bad. I don't know. Thank you guys all for listening, tuning in. And if you are so inclined, I got the tip jar up there. You can probably see it plain as day. Sorry, it's so obvious. Um, if you see that I'm coming near you, uh, come on out. Support live music. I love playing live music. You might see a few more of these shows coming up soon uh, since there's not a lot of gigs on the books. So we're trying to change that. But it's, uh, like I said, there's this many gigs and there's this many people trying to get those gigs so it's a tricky time right now um, and I've said it before too right now if you if you like my sculpture work right now is a good time to uh, set up a, uh, a commission piece if you're interested in that just send me a direct message and um, happy to uh, chat with you about that um, other than that I will see you guys around so Here's one last two.
tuning in you guys i see you cookie sounded great all right cookie next time i'm down there let's do some recording thank you all so much for tuning in and uh chiming in and hope to see you soon and i look forward to next time bye bye <laughs>